What's up guys, Robert Nieves here, the Oxygen Ambassador based in New York City. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a brief history and a how-to on the gin and tonic using Oxygen. So, just to backtrack a bit, in the 18th century, British soldiers used to use quinine to fight malaria. Now it wasn't very palatable, so they would add it to fortified wine and sometimes soda water, which is where we got tonic water from. Now, the soldiers used to spike their quinine with a little bit of gin, and that's where the gin and tonic was born. It gained popularity here in the United States in 1939 after Canada Dry introduced the cocktail at the World's Fair. So let's get started on how to make it. First, we're gonna use our gin. Today we have Oxley Cold Distilled London Dry Gin. We're going to add two ounces into a highball glass. Boom. Next, we're gonna add ice. And we're gonna add it to just the top of the rim there, beautiful. And last but not least, we're gonna add about four ounces of our tonic water. There we go. We wanna fill it up all the way to the top. Add some effervescence here. Now, just to incorporate all of our ingredients, you can take a spoon, give it a nice little stir, lift all the gin from the bottom of your glass, And I like to garnish my gin and tonics with the lime wedge. Actually, let's just go for it. Squeeze it, drop it in. There you have it, guys, gin and tonic. 